Hey guys, anywhere you go in Japan, whether it be in the city or in the country, you will see lots of these things. Uh, quite often they're beside main roads um, because it's sort of a place where they, I guess they have the space to do it, but they're everywhere. Uh, you'll see them in the middle of Tokyo, you'll see them absolutely everywhere. So as most of you probably already know, um, Japanese people do love golf. Lots of Japanese people really love golf. Uh, but golf courses aren't so common because uh, the land is so expensive. So instead, they have these things. Now, just to give you an idea how common they are, there's one. Here's another one. Uh, the birds there on the net, uh, so that real birds can see the net, so they don't fly into it and get stuck. So here's one. And there's another one. And there's another one. So you can see I wasn't exaggerating about how common they are. There's lots of them. So here's a two-story one, which are the most common. But there's also three-story ones, uh, usually in the cities. Uh, they try and make the most make the most use of the space that they can so in the city sometimes they have three story ones and I've actually been told by one of my friends that he's been to a four story one so really making the most use of of the available space but that net structure is absolutely huge I've got no idea how high this is but it's super high as you can see huge structures holding the nets up so we went to one and the one we went to is in the countryside uh, so it's probably a bit cheaper than the city ones uh, cost us 2,000 yen which is about $25 for 170 balls so you get the card from the machine and then go off to we went up to the second floor just for entertainment value, vending machines, as you'd expect, with the cool drink machine. Uh, free hot towels. Oshibudi, very popular in Japan. That You've seen them before when we go into restaurants, they give us those things, but you know, just to refresh your hands, sort of thing. Uh, anyway, feed the card into the machine, and it loads 170 balls or gives us access to 170. You'll see more on that in a minute. And this is an automatic one, so the balls pop up. Most of them are like this. Hit the ball, and the next one pops up. Very civilized. So I'm not a golfer. Um, I have tried it. Oh yeah, here's an adjuster. So you can put that little setting there. You can set it for up or down with your foot. So if you want the ball a bit higher or a bit lower, uh, you can just adjust it with your foot there, push the little pedal, the pedal, pedal for up, pedal for down, so you can sort of adjust it. So if you find it's a bit too high or a bit too low, just push it with your foot and adjust it. And from then on, it'll stay at that height unless you adjust it back again. So very civilized. So after we'd hit maybe 100 balls, this thing started to make noise and it was dropping balls. Uh, down into the machine. It actually collects them. There's uh, like uh, channels in the course on the field there and a lot of the balls roll back into the channels and then get pumped back up and fed back into the machines again for us. And it's all very civilized. Oh yeah, watch this thing. See the, the flag closest to us? There's two flags. The one that's closest to it. Look at the base of it. You can see something going off to the right like a snake. Watch that thing. On the ground, on the ground, on the, on the green. See that? It flips around. Every now and again this thing swings around like a big hose and pushes all the balls off that green so we can uh, see where our ball is going. Told you I wasn't a golfer. More videos coming soon.